Spaghetti with Robito sausage, fried catfish. We got cornbread muffins, a beautiful salad. Mmm. Yummy, delicious. Who wants a yummy bite of this delicious catfish? Ooh. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, we have... Okay, we're doing something different today, okay? Uh, there's like a debate on, on TikTok um that spaghetti goes with fried fish fried fish goes with spaghetti so we trying it today um i made some homemade spaghetti i'm using um what do you call it? hearts of palm noodles mercio has regular noodles um we have some crispy fried fish and some cornbread mercio ain't got no cornbread and a beautiful salad Oh, and I made this um, tartar sauce and hot sauce little concoction here. And I'm drinking water today. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Oh, Who's fancy. ready, Freddie? Mm. Who is ready? Y'all let us know what y'all eating. All right. You ready like Freddie? Let's... Give God the thanks. Amen. Amen. Happy, what's the name? Happy Thursday, y'all. Happy Thursday. Oh, we need to take a thumbnail. You want to go ahead and do it now? Ooh. This shit don't go together. Wait, sc scoop it just a little bit. This shit don't go together. What? Stop! <laughs> y'all let us know in the comments. Do y'all think it goes together? Let us know. Alright, let's get <clears throat> me tea spaghetti. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yummy, delicious catfish. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. 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 Mm hmm Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. See, so I didn't eat it like this in Louisiana. Mmm. -mm. I wonder where it comes from. I don't know where I come from, y'all. Well, but we didn't eat it like this either. I learned in Louisiana when my grandfather died that, um, Fried chicken and spaghetti was a thing. Yeah, yeah. I heard of that too, but we, we didn't do that either. So this spot along with the same lines of that, you know? Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tastes mm -hmm. pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the spaghetti is amazing by itself. The fish is amazing by itself. So, thank you. Mmm. Hot sauce and hot sauce, baby. Mmm. 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 
Mm. Yeah, my neck and please. Thank you. Mm. So y'all, we have a couple topics today. Let me zoom y'all out a little bit. There. Yeah, that's much better. Mm. I like it. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do too. Kind of weird. Because, like, most times I feel like this should only be one meat. I think that's why the combination was weird to me. What's a, well, no, it means some means spaghetti with ground meat and sausage is not weird. No, that's that's but, a lot of meat to have another meat on the to side have to me. Fish with some, you know what I'm saying? Mixed well, with the beef or whatever, like a fishy mm -hmm. taste with this. I didn't think that would go good together, but you know, it'd be the crust from that fish that really be shining when you eating that spaghetti, and it's just you know. Mmm. That's where people be fighting for their lives. Just that one meal. What? Is that four wheeler this guy's mode of transportation? Like every day he riding up and down the street on this big ass four wheeler. If that's a four wheeler? <laughs> I don't know if I be. You talking about that black dude? Mm mm. No, he got something else. Yeah, that's some kind of space age mini car or something. I don't even know. Mmm. Mmm. Eat this good old salad. Okay, so. There's this big thing about what Sierra war to the Oscars. Did you see it? What? You about to look it up? <laughs> Hopefully they show the dress. What did Sierra wear to the Oscars? Because people trying to like block it out like it's not, you know? What's she doing? Mm. The back is completely out and then the she now, has on a phone. I didn't know she had on a phone. What she got on the phone with that? Like, come on, put some clothes on. Oh my on. gosh! I bet the front is me is is meshed. Too. It is. Yeah. It's, the whole thing is see through. But if she got on a bra. Don't even look like she got a bra on. She has on pasties. Man, come on now, bro. Hit the boosted button on this bra. Um, she looks amazing. Like we What's can't even lie on? and say she doesn't look amazing, but people are really on her saying that she's a mom, she's a wife, you know, and I was here, but I don't hear nobody saying that about anybody else. It's weird to me. Is it that y'all like hold Sierra to a certain standard because she's been in such she, a perfect like she doing relationship? The most. I ain't seen nobody do, like. Oh yeah, out. it was other girls. It was other women there with see through dresses on too. Like, people are always wearing see-through stuff all the time. All the time. This is ridiculous in taking it too far. She's literally walking around naked with a G-string on and pasties on her nipples for the world to see. This is a public outfit. This is a shame and a disgrace to the black queen to walk around showing all your goodies off like that. This ain't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own opinion. Wow. Mm. I think we gotta have more respect for us. The woman, the black woman, all women need to understand. Carry yourself with some respect. Put some clothes on. 
that the way you dress affects how people perceive you and how they feel about you and what they think about you. You should never want to dress like that, scantily clad. You don't want that perception. You trust me, you don't want that. Why would you want to? You want to cover up. You want to be known for your what the words come out of your mouth. You're saying good things. You're doing good deeds. You know what I'm saying? You're a beautiful person on the inside and out. You don't got to show your body off. Your face can carry and project your beauty. Keep that your body and all your goodies to yourself. Stop putting that on front street for the whole entire world to see. I'm disgusted with and sick of it. You know, as a man who can on one hand appreciate that, on another hand, the man in me, the real man, is sick of that. That's just like, come on, have some respect. Like, you know, have some respect. This outfit is so, like, come on. No, herself, this ain't no I respect feel. for yourself when you dressing like this. Just pure neck. I'm sure y'all seen it. Come on, cover up. I'm, I'm not supposed it, to know what you it. look like naked. Ain't you married? I'm not your husband. Why do I know what you look like naked now? Oh, my God. C couldn't be my wife. <laughs> oh, here you go, y'all. Just in case y'all didn't see it. You got the full body of her? Let me see this. Look That's at this. Man. I mean, she looks amazing to have had three freaking kids, though. She looks amazing. I think that maybe because women go through this sometimes, like, where, you know, if their bodies are, you know, dang near perfect or they just want to do it, um, they, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think, I feel like she was feeling herself, basically. You know what I'm saying? She feeling herself. She have a nice body after all them kids. Um, her husband obviously doesn't mind. And she probably don't care what nobody else thinks. She was Scorpio, so I know she don't. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I mean, it's just preference of what you want to do. I wouldn't. Um, even if I had a nice body, I wouldn't. But. Wow. What? Why wouldn't you? But, I mean, because I just wouldn't want to, because it's too much. For me. For me. I don't hear on nobody else about, you know, what they want to do with their bodies. And what they want to wear. But the whole internet is just going crazy over her dress. And people are saying um, that her husband is standing there like uh, like he's embarrassed. He don't look embarrassed to me. <laughs> he don't look embarrassed. He look like he always look. Like I'm going to go with what my wife want to do. Mm -mm. Kind of look. I'll see it. No. Stop making stuff up. Look. He cringing on the inside. He cringing. Oh, he's not. Mmm. Mm. This Sierra, fish is good. But Sierra always been like this. She always been too much for me. She dressed mm -hmm. too naked. She danced too nasty. I don't like it. I remember when she first came out, I thought she danced too nasty too. But I still liked her though. Like, I mean, she was popping. I was like, oh my gosh. But... <clears throat> To me, she would look a hundred times better in a nice, respectful dress. You know, a quick, like a, looking like a queen. That's how she dresses. Looking regal and respectable. No, that ain't regal and no. respectable. But she dressed like the female talent. Like, you coming she, here to get naked or what? Oh, my bad. You she all don't dress naked. like that all the time. That's just like a one. Like, I haven't seen uh, Sierra in nothing see-through ever. Like... This is like, I, I don't know. Maybe she wanted, you know, some attention. I don't know. You can tell by the look on her face that she's loving all the attention. He's cringing at it, and she's eating it up. You can see that in their faces. <laughs> she definitely is eating it up. 
I mean, what do you think th these things are for? She's taking pictures. She's on red carpet. Like, yeah, it's just, you know. <clears throat> to me, that that's it shows her. You know, like she's like, she needs to be. It's time to grow. It's time to mature and act your age. Like that's for some young girl who just like becoming a woman. Like, oh my god, she can't all this attention. Oh my god, but you a grown ass woman now. You got a husband. You got kids. Put some clothes on and act like a grown ass woman. You can't be attention thirsty your whole damn life. You know what I'm saying? That's not cute to be attention thirsty, especially when you got a man and you dressing like that. That that's not a good look on you or him. You real passionate about it, huh? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> because the women is like, come on, bro. If the women go to shit, what the hell is the future? You like, come on. The women then gone to shit. Dang, now. She, look at them. The women on earth time. have gone to shit. No, they have not. Yes, look at no, them. No, they have. Look not. how they dress. I can't believe she wore pasty. Shout out like, to my mama. That's one of my mama words. Gone to shit. You probably never heard that before. Huh? Ha! Um. Oh, y'all. Listen to this. I don't know why I just keeps doing this. is bothering me, y'all. My dress keeps leaning to one side. Anyway, do y'all know that KFC gives out um free freaking chicken, buckets of chicken, y'all, mm -hmm. as long as you... Okay, this is what... Okay, so you go, you buy your bucket of chicken, right? Um, This guy, he, he bought like an eight-piece or whatever, and... You have to eat it in store, okay? You have to eat it in store. Now, when you're done with your eight pieces, you can go back up there and get a refill for free. What? The same thing that you bought, you get to get that again. That bucket is refillable? It's refillable. <laughs> Nobody freaking knew about this, y'all. I don't know who told this guy about this. You know, wait, man, let me see. Is it? <laughs> you see this? Look, every time... Look, it's okay. That the black guy. Let I'm gonna have to give him a shout out. Hold up. Five guys is an establishment. Okay, no, that's that's okay. This is another one, y'all. Oh my god. Okay, so shout out to what is this guy's name? See, it don't even have his uh Jordan underscore the. Something, y'all. Okay, this is the originator of who let everybody know about KFC. Yeah, I got eight piece. Give me a break and stop playing the music. Hi, uh, I'm all finished with my bucket of chicken. I was wondering if I could get a refill. Oh, you talking about that one? Thing? Yeah, the refill policy. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so it's called it's the refill policy, y'all. And let me uh let me tell y'all what the uh what you call this. Hold up. Come on. I'm all finished with my bucket of chicken. I was wondering if I could get a refill. Hold up. They're about to put the policy right here. I'm gonna read it. Okay. It only applies during the 60 minutes after the purchase. Okay, so you have an hour to eat the the chicken, wherever, you know. Bucket, however many you, you want, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, see, they didn't specify that. Um, six, you have 60 minutes to eat it um, before you can go and ask for your second bucket. And it said the refill must be requested after waiting in the regular, in the regular line at the restaurant, at the restaurant counter. And, and so, yeah, y'all, yeah, okay? Now, I have a feeling that KFC is going to change this policy quick, fast, and in a hurry because this is viral. And people are going to be eating that chicken. And <laughs> like, okay? I wonder if... Hopefully like, they don't go out of business, honey, because fried I, chicken? I wonder if that applied to like, what if I go in there with three other people and we get an eight piece? And, you know, we eat it all. And we need some more chicken. Well, I don't see where it's, it, you know what it what I'm says saying? anything. Go in there with eight people. <laughs> wow. People are gonna take advantage of this. I just know it. Okay, and then y'all, did y'all know about um five guys? <sighs> so I won't be saying nothing wrong. Five guys is an establishment that does not charge for extra cheese or extra bacon. You what? Gotta 
They don't charge for extra treat cheese or bacon. What? I did not know that. This dude goes into Five Guys and asks for 30 pieces of bacon. No. I swear to God. They put as much as they could on his sandwich and in, in this container. Bacon Are you by kidding that, me? Yeah. They gave him the 30 pieces they gave of bacon. Him all the bacon he for wanted. For free? You could have he could have asked for a hundred pieces if he wanted. Are you for free? Me, bro? No extra. But y'all already know that um that uh five guys is already expensive. So they really shouldn't be charging extra, you know? I mean bacon is not cheap. You gotta charge for bacon. And 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 then I know that they're gonna change his policy. I know it. They he hitting them because for two packs of bacon. Pretty much. <laughs> like this is viral. Everybody gonna be going in there to get bacon. I just know it. Oh, excuse me. That dude is hilarious. He come from up under the chicken bucket. He, he gotta drop a sub on him. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you fool? Yeah, this was amazing. I was about to cuss. This was Ooh, effing man. amazing. Mm. I think it's the fish. Well, I don't know the combination. It is, you know, because, like, the fish by itself can, like, you know, it might get, like, salty. And, like, you'd be like, you know, I don't fish enough of this fish. But when you're eating the both of them, it's just, like, you can just eat, eat, eat. I wish I had some more spaghetti. I would eat the rest of this. That's what really happened. I ran out of spaghetti. Um, why, and I was wondering why you just put... Cause I'm like I wasn't expecting to, I wasn't expecting to enjoy this shit. That's why I got this bread that I'm not eating. Yeah, he was tripping before <laughs> we even started. And guess who did not even feed into it, honey? Cause I'm not going to. I'm not. Cause I knew it was gonna be good. I already knew it. I let him be mad, and I was like, um, can we can can we be a little bit more positive? No, you should have seen your face. <laughs> I was like, can we be a little bit more positive? Y'all know I'm on my positive thing, honey. I'm not veering away. Um. Okay, what is this? Hey, say to my son, aren't Oompa male? Oh my god. <clears throat> Did y'all hear about where Oompa Loompas came from? No. Where did it come from? The concept, like the concept to... It seems like everything is is racial. It has something to do... Everything has something to do with race. It's so weird. Anyway. Hey, you say to my son, aren't Oompa Loompas male? Let's ask 1964's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The uh, gender of Oompa Loompas. Oh, that's... Okay. Those are the Oompa Loompas. You say there are no people who what is it, the, like the original book? That is the original book. That's the original book. Tell you something. There are more than 3,000 of them right here in my factory. They must be pygmies, said Charlie. Right, cried Mr. Wonka. Pygmies they are, imported direct from Africa. They belong to a tribe of tiny miniature pygmies known as Oompa Loompas. I discovered them myself. I brought them over from Africa myself. The whole tribe of them, 3,000 in all. I found them in the very deepest, darkest parts of the African jungle where no white man had ever been before. They were living in tree houses. They had to live in tree houses. Otherwise, being so small, they would be gobbled up by every animal in the jungle. When I found them, they... Revolted. Then A say to my son, aren't Oompa Loompas male? So basically, they were slaves. Oompa Loompas were slaves. Who freaking knew? And who knew that Oompa Loompas, Oompa Loompas were actually people? It's not like a, it's not a character. Like it, they were people. From Africa. So yeah, fun fact, y'all. That was the real name of them? That's what the book is saying. Oh, I think that was fictional though, but you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a book with fictional. Mm -hmm. That story about like giving a background to where the Oompa Loompas came from, like his little factory slaves. Mm -hmm. I had no clue. I didn't know anything about no Oompa Loompas until the factory, Charlie in the chocolate factory. 
But <clears throat> does that offend you? Because I'm not slightly bit offended. I honestly don't know how to feel about it. I'm not offended, but it's just something I didn't know. <clears throat> something I didn't know. Ladies, Houston. Okay, because we didn't discuss this. We discussed this off camera. There was this Asian lady um, that went to a, an ATM on Bel Air, y'all. Like close to, uh, I believe, Sharpstown Mall or like the, the Asian like area. Because y'all know um, Bel Air, that's like, um, what do you call it? Asian town over there. Anyway, she went to the ATM, withdrew $4,000 because she was supposed to be going to. Um, vacation somewhere. Yeah, on vacation to see her family. And so, little did she know, somebody was watching her and followed her all the way back to where she was going, right? And called her, because um, everything was on camera, called her, um, and uh, it, it, what was physically he doing? He was, yeah, he, physically, he was phys physically trying to assault her. He did assault her. And he picked her up and then body slammed her, y'all. Uh, uh, damaging her uh, spinal cord. Anyway, y'all, she now she, she can't walk. freaking walk. Like, y'all, we have to be so freaking careful. I just don't, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to the ATM. Like walk. Like walk to the ATM. I'd stay in my car. She might have did stay in um, her car. Somebody followed her. So I'm yeah, wondering, like, right. somebody must be must have been close enough. To have been watching, you know, who knows? They might have even been kind of far away with some binoculars watching like a hawk to see. You think? If somebody she who... probably wasn't even thinking that anybody was watching her. You of know? course not. But so I'm he, like... he could have been right there watching. He could have been in a car like right, you know, really close to her watching. That's true too. <laughs> Y'all. Houston ain't In safe. Houston. Like. Do, don't do nothing inside. Or oh, even outside. This is outside the 610 loop. Definitely stay out of the 610 loop. Don't just get this. Quick. And you know. That was inside the 610 loop. I know. Oh that, was, oh, that point. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, do nothing on the inside of the loop. Please. Get out beyond the beltway. That's where you need, really need to be. It can happen anywhere. No, but it's much safer beyond the beltway than it is like Man, inside the goddamn Stuff is happening loop. in Katy. And everybody thinks Haiti is the place to be. I even wanted to move to Katy, y'all. Baby. Yeah. Even the so-called nice parts are dangerous now. Like, they just are. So be careful, y'all, when you're going to go to the yeah. bank because people be watching you. Even when you go inside of the bank, like you're like a freaking target, especially if you're a woman. You know, so ladies, uh, get you some. Um, I need to get myself some too. Um, what do you call it, spray? Mace. Some mace. Um, a little a pocket knife. Okay, and whatever else, y'all. If you if you can carry, carry. But yeah, it ain't no joke out here. A little taser. Honey. They got like a keychain. I seen. It's like mm -hmm. they got a taser on the end of it. Well, that's something ain't nobody, somebody ain't gonna expect come try to grab you and you electrocute their ass. Ha! <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, a taser, y'all. Yeah. But anyway, um. Because you can mess around, mess around and spray yourself. You know, the wind could be blowing the wrong way. You go to spray oh, yeah, him, right. and he yep. hits you. <laughs> mm. Mm. And why is she going to get cash to go on vacation? You can't spend cars on vacation? I mean, she obviously did it for a reason. I mean. Cash money ain't safe. Maybe she had to give it to somebody. For the trip. Who yeah. knows? Listen. Y'all tell me if this is something. This is another thing, y'all. To beware of. People. Impersonating DoorDash. 
people impersonating Dora Dash. And I was this in Houston? I don't know if this was in Houston or not. No, it wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, so what they're doing is um, they're sending like a woman to um, to your door. But this was like early in the morning. It was still dark out. Like who would even open the door? You you know that you didn't get a door dash, you know, that early in the morning. Like who does that? Anyway, they knock. And while she's knocking in the front and you're you're coming to the front door, they have some people uh, coming through the back what? of your house to, to rob you. So that's what they're doing now. That's the new thing that they're doing now. They're acting like they work for uh, DoorDash and they're bringing you food. Wow. But let me... New, because it's new to me. If it's not, let me know. But they are now posing as food delivery drivers in the front while somebody can try to break in the back of your house. So do not open your door. If you did not order anything at all, don't open that door. Yeah, don't Period. be like, oh, I wonder who this is. Don't leave it until you pick it up, okay? This is, oh, this is kind of scary. Yeah, it's a scary thought. Ordering food is something almost everyone does, and neighbors tell us that they've been circulating that video in hopes of catching the people who did it. The Montgomery County Sheriff sharing video showing a woman pretending to be a DoorDash driver delivering a meal to a home on Emerald Vista Drive in spring. Looking at her phone, knocking on the door, but all, as police say, four people tried to break in in the backyard. It happened about a week and a half ago in the early morning hours in this spring subdivision. Neighbors we spoke to say it's the way it all went down that's unsettling. The DoorDash, that was super scary because everybody uses DoorDash. And if DoorDash came to my house at 2 and I probably wouldn't answer the door, but there's a lot of people that would. Wait, did they say 2 in the morning? I think so. Isn't that, like, crazy? You can't really? even get DoorDash at that time. Really? Well, you got cornerstone delivery. Never opening a door for a delivery you're not expecting, and if you are expecting a food delivery, to even have the driver leave it outside the door. If you know anything about this situation, you're urged to call the Montgomery County Sheriff. In spring, Zach told listen, <clears throat> a lot of nonsense okay. going on around the world, so, and everyone is turning blind eyes. Oh my god, I don't even know if I can talk about ATM that. Fraud has this is not the thing. ATM fraud. Using glue and the ATM tap feature glue? have been draining bank accounts. Mm. Yeah, now more victims have come forward saying it happened yeah, you to had them to be as well. I know I've been telling people issues. about it, Michael. What do you mean? Uh, this story's really struck a nerve. Uh, everywhere I go, people are we, talking we, about they, this. They, we they, have they, no control. Control. No, what go on? How that scam go? If you let it play, they're probably gonna say it. I don't know, but I heard about that. What? It'll you'll go there. They've been in sabotage the thing where it, it won't read your card no more, and then it'll be somebody standing there, like a customer, where you're know, pretending to be a regular person, and it'll be like, "Oh, you having a problem? Oh, you got to tap. Use the tap because uh, scan don't work." So they'll go ahead and use the tap function take care of whatever they got to do, then walk off. Most people don't realize that once you finish with that tap, your mm -hmm. account stays up for a certain amount of minutes if you yeah, don't it close does. it out. So yeah. then what the person who just told you to use tap do, mm -hmm. and when you walk off, if you ain't close it, then boom, they go and they make some transactions on your account. Anyway, they've been draining people's Chase accounts. Draining them, y'all. I'm like, wow. But why would you even... First of all, why would you even be conducting business with somebody standing right there? Yeah, well, That's they, first of all. Well, maybe they be a little, maybe they, I'm sure they far enough away for you to feel comfortable, but close enough so you can be like, oh, you having a problem? Yeah, I just, it just happened to me. Hey, you got to use tap. See, yeah, yeah, I ain't talking to tap. nobody at the ATM. Nobody. Like, but I'm not getting like no advice. Scammers, they'll have a trustworthy looking and sounding person to play that role. Oh, yeah, they smart. Scandals I don't trust here. nobody. Good scandals is, you know, top of their game. I don't trust nobody. Okay, what you looking like? Mm -mm. <clears throat> so, so, so the, the thing to learn is, people, if you use the tap function, be sure to close the shit out before you walk away. Otherwise, somebody can hit you up and drain you good. What? I'm tired of them talking about, oh, your product Gee. is on the way, but it's running late. I'm waiting on that. I was waiting on that. Dang, 
I was thinking that's what that was, maybe. Is that for me? <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was my package down there, y'all. Um. What else is Your going on? Your changer. 14 patients with advanced rectal cancer are in remission after taking the same drugs. It's a small trial, but so far it had a 100% success rate. The tumors are gone. No chemo, no radiation, no surgery. Up right now, Dr. Andrea Sursak, an oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering. Cancer? She was part of the research team that conducted was that this rectal study. Rectal cancer? Uh, never Dr. heard of that. There, you didn't know wow. that they have cancer everywhere. Yeah, but I've just never heard body. of that though. Like God. They, they did a study, y'all, and everybody's tumors completely were gone. What what did they use? All right, let's listen. But, you know, of, of course, when I, I saw this, I, I stopped dead. I think everybody does when they hear the, the headline that cancer could be gone. I mean, it seems impossible. It certainly is remarkable. Um, from your perspective, how remarkable is the outcome you observed? It's absolutely incredible. We, we didn't expect it. We've certainly never seen this before. Um, it's really what, you know, cancer doctors' dreams are made of to see a, a response like this such incredible efficacy with really almost no toxicity. Um, our patients feeling great after the treatment with completely normal um, body function um, in something like rectal cancer where normally our therapies are, are really uh, quite toxic. So it's, it's absolutely incredible. So can you tell me more about the drug? I understand yes. it's called dostarlamab and, and why you think it worked. So it's an immunotherapy, um, and it works by unlocking the body's natural immune system to fight cancer. And, and this type of therapy works in specific uh, cancer cells in colorectal that are mismatch repair deficient. So it's a, they lack a gene that enables them to repair their, their DNA, and because of that, they have many, many mutations. And the immune system recognizes the cancer is foreign. And so when we give immunotherapy, like the Starlimab, it really just revs up the immune system so that it sees the cancer and gets rid of it. And but what's so remarkable here is that it completely eliminated the cancer. The tumors wow. just vanished in all 14 consecutive patients. Normally That's when this amazing. was when this is used in colorectal cancer in patients with advanced disease, that happens in about 10% of patients. And here it's a hundred percent. So wow. that's really the most striking part of this is that it happened in every single patient right. after just six months of therapy. Six so, months. Doctor, could it go, oh, this be a, a broader use? I mean, you're talking about rectal cancer specifically, but I mean, you know, any other type exactly. of cancer. Absolutely. That's our goal. You know, the, the, the idea here is that we move this therapy from advanced disease into early stage disease. And clearly we're seeing that there is increased sensitivity when the tumors are early stage, when they are in their organ where they begin. And so oh, our goal stage. is to replicate this in other solid tumors, such as stomach cancer, pancreas cancer, and bladder cancer that are mismatch repair deficient, where they have this potential sensitivity to immunotherapy. And it can have huge implications, just as it did in these 14 patients where they didn't need radiation and they didn't need surgery. We may be able to to achieve that as well in patients with stomach cancer where surgery may not be needed if they have the same type of, uh, you know, really remarkable response. Well, wow. That's good shit. How lucky are those people who got to do that study? Like, I wonder how they even, how they even pick people for that. Wow. <clears throat> Let's pray Big Pharma don't try to stop it. I know. Huh? You know they will. And I was going to say, like, when they find out stuff like this, when studies, when they do studies like this and they find out that, you know, something works, I don't understand why don't they start, they know it, something works, why they don't start using it on people immediately? Because you got people like Big Pharma trying to stop you. <laughs> I mean, well, who's, who's doing the studies? Who's, like... Anyway. Let's be independent groups, you know? You know, some just like independent companies working on cures. And so they just can't start, like, no, you gotta, I guess they... You got to get, you know, you got to get the approval of a uh, big farmer probably. You know, you can't, like, be putting stuff out for sale unless it's FDA approved. And, you know, like, all these people is working mm. together. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, you know. They wow. can't. They can't have you out here curing 
everybody with cancer. You know how much money they make treating cancer unsuccessfully? So they can do these studies, but they can't like sell it to the doctors at all. It has to be. It, it has to go. It got to be approved. It got to go through some chain of approval. That yeah, that's why you never see the stuff. Wow. You know, why do why they even talk about it might, on the news? Then why do they even tell people about it if you know if it's because not like already as a, as an organization, you're proud of what you did. Oh my God, we cured cancer. Newspapers are going to write about it. It's going to start spreading. That's why they report on it. It's hot news. But big pharma ain't a part of that. They the ones who it's. Evil to them. That's the devil to them. No, 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 no. Can't have you curing people. Well, how lucky are those fourteen yeah. people who? Wow. And they was late stage right too. Yeah, they thought they was out of here. Wow. Mm. Yeah, this should be available for that. It should be within within a year. You should have been in the ran test. All the tests you need to run. Find somebody you know with, with every type of cancer, and you try to. It should. It shouldn't take that long at all. It should be a matter of months. Right, exactly. Should be available for people. People don't have time to wait. Who got cancer? They they dying right now. Every day somebody die of cancer. Cancer eating people alive right mm -hmm. now. So sure, yeah. <clears throat> I wish my dad could have been in that dad gonna study. They didn't say anything about um. What kind of cancer is that? Um, no, but she say it possibly can cure all kind of cancer. Colon, it's just, colon cancer. Yeah, it just so happened that that's the one they tried it on. Anyway. It's a lot of cures out there. I was researching, mm -hmm. like different stuff, like turmeric has been found to uh, get rid of certain types of cancer. Uh, green tea, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Ginger. It's a lot of stuff. Like I read, like real medical studies about that. Cure it or turmeric? Cure. Cure. Yeah. <clears throat> like when they, you know, do okay. their little studies, you know, mm -hmm. with lab mice or whatever they be doing. Oh, I actually know this was human studies because it was people with certain types of cancer. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. What else is going on? <clears throat> I think that's all I have. <clears throat> And like that, what? taking this drug, basically, if you paid attention to what she said, taking that drug basically makes it to where your body can go ahead and fix itself. She mm -hmm. said, you know, your body has the ability to do it, but something like it can't see the cancer, it makes it so it can see the cancer, so it go ahead and fight what? it. Yeah, it's like I always preach, your body is already set up to cure anything that you have yeah. as long as you're giving your body what it needs. Like a car got to be oiled up, watered up, got to have mm -hmm. all the proper fluids. Your body, you know, you can't be dehydrated and lacking certain nutrients and minerals. You can't be eating all of this poison. And, and full of that, poison, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess you have to eat certain things. Um, that's why how Dr. Savy was able to cure mm, people of so many mm, uh, diseases because that's what he was concentrating on. Get, getting you cleansed. The food. Getting you cleansed. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then eating and drinking right. Yeah, because it comes from within. Exactly. exactly. It comes from within. We are so powerful as a, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We're like a biological supercomputer. You know what I'm saying? But who can get that perfect to where, like, you know exactly where to, what to eat, how much of it to eat? You know what I'm saying? Like that well, would Sammy, be really hard. Did Sammy he, did did he get that all job the way? Of, of, right, of giving, like, the, what foods to eat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was not a long list at all. It was a lot of shit in this world to eat. That was a, not a long list. You eat like that, you know what I'm saying? Your body would be in an alkaline state. And if in an alkaline state, you are unable to yeah. get sick. Your exactly. Disease can't live in an alkaline state. Disease needs an acidity. Body. Needs mm -hmm. acid. You know what I'm saying? To, to thrive. You get rid of the acid, the, the disease disappears. Wow. Would they get out here and preach and teach that? No, because there ain't no money to be made mm -mm. in that shit. For them, at least, somebody gonna make money. People selling good food gonna make money. It's a shame this wicked world we live in. Well, we oh, gotta yeah. pray that wickedness in high places, you know what I'm saying, be dealt with expeditiously. May God wrap them up and ball them up in a tight ball and throw them into a black hole or some shit. That's why I'm start praying. That's a dad gonna be shown. Mm mm mm. They give us the food. To give us these diseases, and then 
uh, try to act like they treating it, even though whatever, what they're treating it with is killing your insides. Mm -hmm. And it's never going to cure you. Anyway. And why? Why don't they, you know, they want you to, it's big, human beings is the biggest business in the world. Mm -hmm. Making money off human beings. Taxing them. You know, uh, charging them taxes on every and fees for everything their whole life as long as they live and then where how do you cash out because the way the system nothing. is set up yeah exactly the way the system is set up once you turn 65 now the system that you gave everything to your whole life is supposed to now take care of you until you die yep. they can't have that mm -mm. that's why they manufacturing death to set in around the time that you is getting ready to retire Allegedly, yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you even make it that far. They'd rather you die early and never reach retirement age than to yep. draw one year's worth of retirement. They just want to suck, suck, suck you dry and suck you to death. Devils. <clears throat> so, what you get a plate? I got plate. Be, I got to give it a ghetto 10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> got to recommend. <laughs> Yeah, I Fish worked hard on this one. I, I woke up at what time I wake up? Ten thirty. I started cooking at ten thirty. I might even like this better than fried chicken with spaghetti. This shit was out of sight. Yeah, you put your foot in that catfish. Yeah, and there's some tried. good catfish. It ain't yeah fishy or nothing. Lord have mercy, right. that's good. Mm. Um. Okay, so in order to get your fish crunchy, y'all, you know what I told y'all. Oh, <laughs> I recorded it on my family vlog channel, y'all. Go subscribe and watch the video. I'm putting it up tonight, so it'll be um, up right now for y'all to watch after this, y'all. Yeah, there's a little secret to making it crunchy. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it crunchy. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it. Oh, make sure y'all follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Um. Oh, excuse me. And yeah, I hope everybody has an amazing day, y'all. It's beautiful out here today. I don't know what is going on. Like, it is beautiful. What's the, what's the um the temperature is? It couldn't be seventy four. Y'all, it feels like it's about eighty five outside. Have you been out there? Oh, um, not really. Let me see. Y'all, it's hot. Outside, I don't even know why I'm wearing this dress. I was trying to hurry up and wear it, you know what I'm saying? Well, it, spring cake. It actually say even though it's 74, it say what? it feels like 73. No, it don't. Because of the wind. It, it feels like 85 outside. <laughs> it's hot. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's nice wherever y'all are. Uh, if you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Mm. Come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all.